What? What was that? Oh, you got this from Calby, didn't you? Guess it's my turn to talk about my credit card strategy for this holiday season. For those of y'all that don't know, we're at the tail end of a collaboration that I've been doing with some of my fellow credit card and personal finance creators here on YouTube, where we each talk about the credit cards we'll be using through the end of 2022. With that being said, the holiday season is here, and that means it's time to get the most amount of value you can from all of your credit cards. My credit card strategy is actually pretty straightforward this year for the holiday season. It only really consists of two credit cards, but I also have a few tactics up my sleeve that are going to help me get a ton of extra value on all of my spend. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss out on free value you could be getting as well. If you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I was fairly recently approved for my first business credit card ever, and this is going to be the card that I use mainly during this holiday season. Of course, that card being the Amex Blue Business Plus credit card. Honestly, there's a fairly decent chance that you found my channel through my Watch Me Apply video for the Amex Blue Business Plus. In that video, I walk you through how exactly I got instantly approved for this credit card to hopefully help you along your journey as well. But at the end of the day, there is one main reason that I added this credit card to my credit card setup this quarter. And it's really perfect for this video because I got this card literally to be my holiday shopping credit card since I was not spending towards any other welcome bonuses at the time. My most recent credit card approval before the Amex Blue Business Plus was my Amex Gold card that I got back in June. But since I had already hit the welcome bonus on this card before this holiday season started, I knew that I needed to add another card to my arsenal in order to take advantage of all the spend I'll be doing in this quarter. I mean, Q4 is the biggest quarter of the year where everybody's going to be doing the most amount of spending on their credit cards. And to me, it pains me to not be spending towards a welcome bonus while I could be doing so. Now, this is a pro tip that every single person should know. In general, you're always going to get the most value for your spend by spending towards a welcome bonus. Even if you're getting 5x back on one of your highest spend categories, most welcome bonuses out there give you more than a 15% return on spend during the time that you're trying to spend towards that welcome bonus. So that's why you see so many of us who are obsessed with credit cards constantly applying for new cards. It's just that we understand that whenever you apply for a new card, the welcome bonus is going to give you a higher return on spend than any of your earning categories will. I mean, for me, I'm going to take at least 15% back on all of my purchases, even if it's just for a few months. Because at the end of the day, even if it's just for three months, for example, in three more months from now, I can apply for another brand new credit card and get the welcome bonus on that one as well. That's really a never ending cycle as long as you keep applying for more cards. Obviously, you'll eventually get to a point where you just have a ton of credit cards and it may get to be too much for you to handle. So whenever you're ready to slow down on this a bit, you could just change up your strategy a little bit to only get a new credit card every time you have a large purchase coming up or a large trip coming up. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and talk about the Amex Blue Business Plus in a little bit more detail detail, and I'll explain to you why I chose this card in particular out of all the options out there. The first and most important thing about this card is that it's going to come to you with no annual fee. While it does sound nice if you just leave it at that, there's one main reason that this card having no annual fee is such a big deal. This is one of Amex's few cards that comes with no annual fee, and the great thing about that is that you can use this card as a store of all of your points, even if you did decide to eventually cancel some of your higher annual fee credit cards with Amex. And the reason for that is because all of your Amex points pool into one main account, like it's not specifically on this card only. Only. And since you can transfer out to travel partners with this card alone, you'll never have to worry about leaving a high annual fee credit card open just to keep your point balance alive. Also, I should note that I always plan on transferring my Amex points out to travel partners because you have to remember that Amex points are only going to be worth 0.6 cents per point when redeemed for cashback. So since I do transfer these out to travel partners, I can conservatively value them at at least two cents per point. And in reality, if you book the right trip with your points, you could actually get a lot more value than that. Now that's all well and good, but obviously I'm going to be using this card a lot during this quarter. So what kind of earning categories will I get with it? Luckily, this card is super simple. It's just going to get you 2x Amex membership reward points back on every single purchase up to the first $50,000 worth of spend and then 1x back on everything else after that. That's great because the simplicity of this card allows it to be a perfect catch-all card that's going to be great for all the miscellaneous spend we'll be doing this quarter on gift shopping. Now, 2x back on everything is pretty solid. And at this point, it's really become the table minimum for the credit card game. But don't forget that I do value my Amex membership rewards points at at least two cents per point. And that effectively doubles the earning rate on this card, giving me at least 4% back on every single purchase. Other than the earning rates, since this card doesn't have an annual fee, it's not going to come with any kind of big credits or anything like that. But you can still get some really good value from this card just from the welcome bonus alone. Right now, it's going to come with one main public welcome offer of 15,000 Amex membership rewards points after spending $3,000 in the first three months of having it. So the return on spend with this welcome bonus actually isn't incredible. It's only going to give you a 10% return on spend with a two cent per point valuation, of course. But that's not to mention the 4% back you'll be getting on all of your purchases made to hit that $3,000 
$1,000 minimum spending requirement. So in general, it's still gonna give me some pretty decent return on spend and a lot better than my other credit cards would give me. Oh, and also since I did apply for this card after I'd already gotten approved for my personal Amex Gold credit card, this application was just a soft pull on my credit report. That's just one of the perks that Amex gives you as a customer and one of the reasons that I think that their customer service is really unmatched. Now, before we move on, I have to address the elephant in the room. Yes, this is a business credit card and not a personal credit card. But as I've talked about in a lot of my videos at this point, you do not need a big business of any kind to get approved for business credit cards. Matter of fact, you can apply as a sole proprietor with your social security number. And if you have or expect to have any kind of income coming in outside of your nine to five job in the near future, you can get approved for business credit cards. Also, yes, I am putting all of my personal holiday spend on this business credit cards. So please don't hunt me down. But in all seriousness, Amex is really just in the business of getting you to swipe their cards. That's how they make their money. So they're not going to be sitting there eyeing every one of your purchases to see if it's a personal purchase or a business purchase. And to be fair, I'm definitely not writing off all of the purchases that I make on this credit card. I'm only going to be writing off the purchases that are actually towards my business only. And then also after I hit the sign up bonus on this card, I will probably not actually be using it for anything but business purchases at that point. Now that I've addressed that, another great thing about this card being a business credit card is that it does not affect my Chase 524 status. And obviously that played a large part in why I applied for this card, because right now I am sitting at 524 with Chase. But in January, I will be dropping down to just 424. So in applying for a business credit card right now, I'll keep my 524 status at the exact same level and don't have to worry about going any higher in it. Also, my plan is to apply for the Chase Inc. cash card in January of 2023. So this card is going to help me build up my business credit before I go ahead and do that. And also, since this is a business credit card, it does not report to your personal credit report, which is super nice. I literally had no effect on my personal credit card after getting this one because I didn't even get a hard pull on my account since I already had a pre-existing Amex account. So that was a pretty cool feeling to add a brand new card with no effect to my personal credit score and still get a bunch of Amex points for using this card. And the final great benefits that come on this first credit card we're talking about here today is that it comes with extended warranty and purchase protection, which is great for the holiday season. Before we talk about card number two, I figured this would be a perfect video to talk about my favorite wallet company that also makes other accessories that you should be looking at getting for people this holiday season. Extra wallets are some of the most high quality wallets I've ever owned. And although I've mentioned their wallets a couple of times on the channel here already, I want to take the time today to explain some of their other products that I'm a huge fan of. I've been lucky enough to get to use their key case bundle plus that comes with one card holder or wallet of your choice, one key case, one key tracker, one tool card, one metal cash clip, and one premium gift bag for those who you're shopping for. This set is currently up to $100 off, which is pretty insane. Also, I've been using their Weekender bag, which is officially the nicest travel bag that I have. And for someone who travels pretty light like I do, I could probably fit at least a week's worth of stuff in this bag. Right now, they're in the middle of their Christmas sale where you can get upwards of 35% off all of their products site-wide. And on top of that, you can use my code Spencer Johnson at checkout or use the link down in my description to get you an extra 5% off all of their products. And also, I don't know if you've seen one of my most recent community posts, but Rackets actually has extra as one of their partner companies that meaning you can probably get upwards of at least five percent cash back from Rakuten on their products as well that's going to bring your total discount to up to 45 percent if you use Rakuten extras website and my code and also Rakuten's offering you forty dollars back right now after you spend forty dollars on their site so if you bought one wallet through Rakuten and use my discount code as well then after you spent forty dollars with extra you could get a second wallet basically for free now at this point so make sure you take advantage of these offers while you can and go make someone's day by giving them a nice gift like an extra wallet now let's talk about card number two in my overall holiday credit card strategy, that card being the OG Chase Freedom card. For those of y'all that watch me consistently, you'll know that I somewhat recently product changed my Chase Freedom student credit card into the OG Chase Freedom card. The reason I chose the product change to the OG Chase Freedom rather than the Chase Freedom Flex, for example, is because I have not gotten the signup bonus on the Chase Freedom Flex yet. And if I was to product change straight to that card, I would basically forfeit the opportunity to get that signup bonus for two years on that card. The OG Chase Freedom is not open to new applications, but you can still get it through product change changing, at least I still hope so. I've heard a couple of y'all have had some issues trying to product change to this card and they kind of force you to product change to one of the newer Chase Freedom cards. But let me know down below if you have issues with this because I would be really interested to know. This card is not quite as good as the Chase Freedom Flex, but since I already have the Chase Freedom Unlimited, that card is gonna have overlapping categories that the Chase Freedom Flex has. So I still get all the earning categories I need from the Chase Freedom Unlimited, other than the 5X rotating quarterly categories that come on the Chase Freedom Flex. So hence, that's why I product change to the OG Chase Freedom. This card is going to give you the same 5X 
Flex rotating quarterly categories that the Chase Freedom Flex does. This quarter, Chase's rotating quarterly categories are going to be Walmart and PayPal. So obviously with Christmas right around the corner, the PayPal category is going to be super easy for me to get a ton of value out of. My one issue with this card is that it does have a pretty low credit limit since I did product change it from my first ever credit card, the Chase Freedom Student. But I'm hoping that if I do put a good amount of charges on this card this quarter, that they will start to automatically increase that credit limit for me. As I mentioned earlier, the Amex Blue Business Plus is going to be the card that I use the most this quarter until I hit the welcome bonus spending requirement. But considering I'm only like a thousand dollars away or so, depending on what I'm actually going to be purchasing in the rest of December, I could actually see me getting some pretty fair use out of the OG Chase Freedom as well. Don't get me wrong though, if I wasn't spending towards a welcome bonus, the OG Chase Freedom would be the only card I'm really using this quarter, at least until I hit that $1,500 spending cap that comes on this card. These days, I feel like almost every single online portal has PayPal as a payment option, so I don't think it'd be very hard for me to max out that $1,500 spending cap if I had to. Also, I should mention that all of the points that I earn on this OG Chase Freedom this quarter are going to be transferred onto my Chase Sapphire Preferred card because the Chase Sapphire Preferred allows you to transfer your points out to travel partners similar to Amex's cards. And that's why I conservatively value my Chase points at two cents per point as well. With that redemption rate, I'm technically going to be earning 10% back on all of my purchases made with PayPal this quarter. Now, so far, it sounds like I may be getting some really solid earnings for all of my spending this quarter. But now let's talk about some other tools that you should be using if you want to get the maximum amount of value from your spend. I mean, who doesn't want to save money, especially during the holiday season? As I mentioned previously, unless you're somebody that skipped my extra integration, which I saw you do that, Rakuten is basically a website, an app, and a Chrome extension that will give you extra rewards on all of your purchases made with specific stores that they partner with. Also, you can get these rewards as cashback, which is great, but you can also get them as Amex membership rewards points, which is exactly what I do because I do value them at double the rate that I would cashback. Also, right now, they're going to be offering you $43 after you spend $40 on their site. So if you haven't signed up yet, feel free to do so with my link down below to help support the channel and get yourself some free money. I mean, heck, $40 could actually get you a free gift for somebody if you're smart with it. And the second main tool that I use, especially during the holiday season, is going to be Honey. I know they don't get quite as much praise from us as Rakuten does, being that we are credit card YouTubers and want those Amex membership rewards points. But to be honest, their Chrome extension has saved me a bunch of money over the years. And to be fair, I guess you could technically use these two platforms in tandem with each other, because what Honey does is automatically apply promo codes to your shopping cart at checkout. But if you got to that checkout screen by using Rakuten to get there, then technically you could get all those Amex membership rewards points back, plus the discount that Honey would give you by using a promo code. Combining these two methods with a solid earning rate credit card could save you up to 10, 20, 30% off this holiday season. Obviously that depends on the certain deals that you're getting, but that's pretty awesome to think that you can be getting that kind of discount on all of your holiday gift shopping. And also since we're talking about holiday shopping, I might as well mention some credit cards that I would recommend if you're still looking to get one during this month. I think some of the most powerful cards right now would be the Amazon Prime Visa, the Discover It card, the US Bank Shopper Cash Rewards card. And obviously there are a ton of other cards out there that you can get just for the welcome bonus alone, like I mentioned. But if you're looking for a card that is strictly for all of your holiday shopping, those three cards are some that I would look at. Like I mentioned earlier, if you're spending towards a welcome bonus, have a card that gives you elevated earning rates on all of your spending, start stacking your cash back with sites like Rakuten and Honey, and redeem your points wisely, this holiday season might not break your bank and it could actually get you a ton of free rewards that you could use to travel the world for free. And if that sounds up your alley, check out this video next where I explain a five card credit card setup that I would look at getting if you want to travel the world for free. Thank you to Exter for being such a supportive sponsor of this channel and make sure you use my code Spencer Johnson at checkout to get you an additional 5% back like we talked about. Me and Odin both want to say thank you guys so much for watching once again. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys next time.